welcome friends welcome to our channel learning and development on this channel we will be posting the learnings related to applied psychology how the various principles tools and techniques of applied psychology can be applied for our self improvement so let us start the session today's session is on understanding behavior why this particular session is very important is in today's aspect understanding behavior is not only applicable to understanding the behavior of others but the most important thing is it is very very important to understand our behavior also so once we are able to understand our behavior patterns it is very easy for us to actually uh, understand others also so my today session is based on the overview of the behavioral aspects and the session is basically uh giving an overview of what are the different uh, aspects and the things which are related to behavior so the first thing behavior consists of organisms external reactions to its environment please understand here i have used the word organisms for all living organisms on the earth whatever they react towards their environment becomes the behavior when coming to the human perspective we see people uh, acting doing actions in a different uh, manner it's all the outward things which we can see so all things which we can see outward world we can notice it the other fellow human beings can notice as nothing but behavior the internal processes which we are going through the feelings and the emotions will not con come under this the aspects such as emotion thoughts and all other internal mental processes don't usually fall under this category of the behavior please understand here because of these internal mental processes the behavior is influenced so it is also very important to now understand all these internal processes also the good point here is uh, about the behavior is the behavior can be modified according to the positive or negative reinforcements from the environment or by the self directed intentions please understand here one important thing is that the behavior can be modified in two aspects either due to the influence from the outside world or through the self realizations from within a thought process can come from within we realize that i need to change so these are the two ways we can actually modify the behavior or change the behavior generally you would have seen about the uh, reward uh, theory like generally when uh, the child does something good uh, we give him a reward we appreciate the behavior so that's how the behavior is uh, modified and uh, it is reinforced every time similarly when he does something wrong he is getting punished so basically what is happening is we are reinforcing but this is happening from the external world from the outside environment there is one more aspect here which is called self directed intentions also here lot of motives and uh, belief systems are hidden so we need to understand the other aspects which also influence the behavior so this is a brief about behavior anything which is visible outside to the outside world is nothing but behavior and it can be modified it can be changed let us discuss attitude attitude is nothing but set of emotions beliefs towards a particular object person thing or an event generally hota kya hai what happens is uh, we form a particular uh, attitudes towards some people towards because of our belief system what happens is let us say this situation has come uh, we have got this particular experience so more number of time we experience that situations and similar reactions then it becomes a attitude and we say that he uh, this person has a positive attitude or this person has a negative attitude or his attitude he is very open person so all these basically are nothing but the uh, learnings which we keep on storing and then it becomes the pattern in which we behave and that pattern is nothing but the attitude which we set so it is all the emotions so for example uh, when i say a doctor so when you think about a doctor you have got a image of a doctor uh, in your mind so the moment the word comes please understand here with that particular word you are able to frame a image a complete image of a doctor 
uh, based on your prior experiences similarly when i say a teacher the image of a teacher comes in your mind so all these images are nothing but they are schemas they are actually stored they are stored in your mind in your brain in your cognitive functions which we'll understand later these all schemas are like a circuits these are all uh, informations which are there and based on our information processing whenever we come across that particular situations we behave in particular manner so this is how the all the learnings which we are doing it is getting stored so attitudes are often the result of experiences of upbringing and they can have a powerful influence on our behavior so yes obviously during the uh, formative years of our uh, life we are actually programming our brain so basically the uh, we we write our own uh, program how we have to behave based on our experiences what we come across what kind of situations we come across so that's the reason we say that uh, the school has got a lot of influence the kind of teachers you meet the your parents have a, your uh, near members your friend circle they all influence your uh, attitude formations so this attitude is very important if you need to understand the uh, concept of behavior now let us try to understand this uh, attitude uh, in a different manner so this particular uh, uh, about iceberg all of us are aware so generally when we see the iceberg we can see the tip and you can see a uh, lot of things lot of portion is not uh, visible which is inside so in a different context this would have been used so here also i have made a use of this particular concept to make you understand this is what happens actually in the behavior pattern also you see it is known to the people this is only known to the people is top most portion and the unknown to the others are your all values your standards your motives your hidden motives your direct motives i mean everything is hidden inside all these mental processes which are going through your conscious mind your unconscious mind subconscious mind super conscious whatever you talk about but what people will see is your behavior they are not going to see your attitudes so based on your behaviors they have a framing about your attitudes they assume certain things what exactly is attitude what is this person and all they have their own perception they have their own view about that uh, particular person so it has nothing to do with your personality you may be a different personality but other person how he perceive is again based on his belief systems and all so you need not worry that what others are thinking but as long as you are able to understand yourself why you are behaving like that why you are like that what are your hidden motives and beliefs and why you behaved in particular situation in that manner that will give you a better understanding of moving ahead in life now this is what is happening actually see you can see all your behaviors are getting impacted from your attitude and motives in so whatever you exhibit whatever behavior you show whether it is in a group whether it is an individual behavior or in a public this is all your belief system so let us understand more about this now if you want to actually uh, get a shield at work basically this i have used so uh, the work here means all aspects of your life you know your goals whatever you are doing it is not as actually a work office work which you are doing it is all if you are studying if you are planning to do something or if you are preparing for some examinations or you are appearing for some competitive examination or you are planning for an interview process all those things if you need to learn something in your behavior incorporate something in your uh, attitude there is something called uh, thinking wheel which is very important so you can see how this behavior and attitudes and thinking are correlated to each other so a new concept here we thought is discussed is thinking so now let us understand more about this to understand more on thinking we need to understand the concept of mind now there is a lot of confusion between the mind and the brain so please understand the brain being the uh, biological uh, organ and uh, yes all the neurons which store the informations or they do lot of information processing various things that becomes the cognitive part which you cannot touch you cannot feel Uh, becomes your mind the informations which is getting stored uh, in in some x y z manner uh, the kind of uh, uh, you can compare it with the software kind of programs you know lot of uh, 
uh, information is getting uh, stored in a virtual scenarios in a cloud so please understand here the brain is a physical organ where the these kind of a hardwares are there and mind is something like a software you can just try to uh, correlate so this software lot of programming has happened and all these programs we ourselves have written and these programs can be changed based on two factors one external world and second based on the internal thought process so mind uh, basically the total the totality of all the mental processes uh, which come across in your subconscious mind conscious mind various aspects we discuss so all put together as a function of a mind so when it comes to what are the two important functions of the mind that influence behavior so it is not important that uh, whether this uh, are getting influenced by the brain as already i have explained you what is happening is brain is a biological organ it has a physical existence but mind on the other hand it does not have a physical existence but the two aspects of the mind which keeps uh, bothering us which influences our behavior can be correlated by this see basically we correlate the thinking with the brain and uh, the feeling with the heart generally so what i am trying to uh, make it clear here is for a better understanding that again the thinking part see uh, we as an uh, uh, biological aspect we discuss that you know the thought processes are our brain so the process which is happening please understand the process which is happening is nothing but a mind game the hardware to store the neurons on which the connections are going you have heard something please understand a, a noise can trigger lot of thought process in your mind if it a loud noise suddenly if somebody is calling your name it has a different impact if somebody is shouting outside it has a different impact suddenly if you see something by that particular seeing a different uh, type of emotions are getting triggered so basically what is happening is all these thinking patterns the neurons are present in the brain but the cognitive part is happening in the mind and the second part feeling we correlate with the heart so heart is again a biological organ and it is like a pump which already we have studied so the reason why we are uh, relating this feeling to the heart is the thought processes or uh, the anything which is uh, happening any kind of emotion which we experience whether we are sad or we are happy the first organ quickly which we can actually see getting affected is the heart immediately heart beat increases or heart you know you feel some kind of a sensation across the body because the blood circulation is again controlled uh, by the heart part so basically i am not going to discuss more on to the biological aspects as long as we are clear here that what we have to think is the think that is the thought part and the feeling part these are the two important aspects of the mind which actually influence our behavior and one interesting thing here is please understand if you are thinking is good if you are getting a good thoughts definitely your feelings will be improved and on the other hand if you're feeling good automatically the good thoughts will come in your mind so it's like a direct proportions one increases the other increases and uh, this is how you build up your attitude if you think good uh, you feel good again because of your feelings the good thoughts comes and it goes on on the on the other hand if you are not feeling well the kind of thoughts which you experience are also Are not very good, and since you are not experiencing a good thought, again feeling. So this there is a strong relation between feelings and thought, and the uh, understanding here what you can get is the feeling is controlled from the different part of our brain, and thinking is controlled from the different part of our brain. So basically, we call it as a higher cognitive skills are basically from the uh, organically evolved part of the human brain. Uh, the rational thinking and the other cognitive functions but the feeling part is it comes from the primitive part of the uh, brain uh, in the organic evolutions so these two generally affect each other and as a human being we generally get uh, influenced by our feelings and based on that sometimes we lose our rational thinking or definitely what is happening is most of the time our feelings 
are actually controlling our thoughts or based on our uh, feelings we are taking some uh, particular thoughts and accordingly we are taking the uh, actions and decisions so the point here i want to make it clear is thought process and feelings are very much correlated it is on an individual on our own ability how we practice it and control it and we use it for our betterment sometimes we go for the feeling sometimes we go for the thinking there calls the wisdom comes so all those aspects will be slowly coming into the uh, uh, psychology as we take uh, further into various learnings and presentations uh, but i think this particular concept is very much clear the point here is if you are thinking good you will definitely feel good and if you are feeling good definitely you will have a good thoughts so ultimately this thoughts actually we have learned that are actually influencing our attitude and then attitude in turns influence our behavior so ultimately it comes to the feeling part if you are feeling good obviously you will behave in a better manner this is cognitive behavior therapy one of the very uh, interesting and very effective therapy uh, just a overview i am giving here see how uh, your thoughts your behavior and your emotions are uh, correlated so uh, this is very important the what i explained right now is uh, what we think affects how we feel and act and based on that act what we do affects how we feel think and if you do good things obviously you will get some appreciation or from inside also you will feel happy self satisfied so what we feel again affects how we think and act so this is a very important uh, cognitive behavior therapy which is being used uh, to help people for their uh, self development uh, general anxiety general thought processes which they get uh, this particular uh, cognitive behavior therapy is very very useful in those areas the success formula as per uh, my understanding is 20% of methodology and 80% of psychology uh, what we have to understand here is generally we follow a particular method suppose you have to crack particular exam so what we do we take certain books we follow a timetable we study notes and accordingly we plan so that is a method part the plan part we do it but the 80% part that is a psychology part that gets missing if you don't understand yourself if you don't understand your thought processes if you don't understand your strengths and weaknesses if you're not able to control your distractions if you don't know your hidden motives it becomes very difficult to crack that or achieve that goal and uh, here comes the concept of psychology so when i say 80% psychology it is your own belief systems understanding yourself can you do it believing in yourself is very important so you have seen lot of people you know uh, uh, targeting for certain things why certain people achieve that results and other people are not able to achieve that results in spite of following the same uh, formula or the same method because ideally saying if you follow the particular method the same results should come but why does it happens that others are able to achieve and the others not the reason behind is the psychology so psychology plays a very very important role Uh, when it comes to achieving our uh, desires dreams or goals or objectives so in applied psychology what we do is basically it is an application of various psychological principles tools and techniques to achieve the desired results so lot of techniques and tools are there lot of theories are there therapies are there general psychology lot of terminologies are there and there are lot of uh, ways exercises uh, techniques which we can actually adopt in day to day life so that over a period of time we experience those changes so we are going to discuss more on this uh, tools and techniques in the coming videos some of the key presentations which i love giving is positive psychology this is very interesting concept of the psychology where we talk about the happy living the good part of the brain the higher functions of the brain we discuss emotional intelligence one of the very key area because i was talking about the feeling so unless we have a clarity on the uh, emotions of ourselves understanding our emotions then managing our emotions understanding others emotions managing others emotions to an extent this all comes under emotional intelligence social psychology is a very important subject one of the important area is self esteem generally what happens is uh, there's lot of uh, 
uh, people, you know, youngsters, the school, college students, generally the self-esteem and the self-concept, basically that they, they get developed during the uh, formative year, where in the teenage, when they are there from 13 years to almost 18 to 20 years of that age group, uh, that self-esteem is getting, you know, taking a, sh a shape. The self-identity is important. So when we talk about social psychology, it is not important that uh, the other aspects, but as an individual, you need to understand yourself. Like, what is your view about yourself? Like, for example, as a third person, how you see yourself is very important. So that is being discussed. Neuroplasticity, one of my favorite and interesting topic. This is called engineering your brain. You can actually rewire your brain. And uh, yes, it is possible. Things can be done. Cognitive behavior therapy, I have given the overview. Uh, lifespan psychology is a very interesting uh, a concept we are going to discuss in the near future. Basically, on this different aspects of your life, right from your uh, childhood uh, to the adulthood, uh, different aspects will be discussed. And how your uh, cognitive, like generally we have been uh, seeing about the physical growth. People talk about the physical growth, uh, the um, uh, mental growth, people talk about. But the cognitive growth is also very, very important, which I understand that need to be addressed and discussed. So this is also a very important topic. And apart from that, uh, there are certain uh, topics which are also very important. Benefits of meditation. Uh, I I do meditation. I have been doing meditation for a few years and I'm really happy to see a different perspective of myself altogether. So definitely uh, I love this particular topic. Physical, mental and spiritual dimensions are very interesting that will connect to you to a different thought process and all. And there's all scientific uh, methodology which we, you know, I try to correlate because being a science student, I also believe in the facts. So I do feel and I am able to correlate the things in a scientific manner. And yes, these things work out when you apply uh, those tools and techniques which you study on yourself. Slowly you start getting the results. Stress management, one of the very important uh, topic where we discuss about the uh, fight and flight response and uh, the stressors, uh, a lot of things we discuss. Understanding relationships is also the key area and there we need to do a lot of work. And again, the most important is our belief system, uh, which is the key for all our attitude and behavior. So hope this whole concept of uh, behavioral aspect is clear. And uh, to make it more interesting, what we have done is we have, we'll be conducting the online learning sessions on Zoom. And also we have created a WhatsApp group to keep you informed regarding all the learnings. So anybody who is interested in continuous learning and development, and you feel that yes, you can apply and change some aspect of your behavior or some aspect of your personality, which you look forward, kindly share your details to 9949811068, and you will be added in the group. And then the continuous learning will start. So thank you so much, friends. Thank you so much for any queries and suggestions. Please reach at my number or you can send me an email also thank you so much